Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll learn how we can able to calculate the land surface temperature from Landsat 5 and Landsat 7 data. So if you'll see here, the thermal band, band number 6, is the same in Landsat 5 and Landsat 7. So in the thematic mapper, in the Landsat 4 and 5, the band number 6 is 30 meter. So it is resampled to 30 meter. And here also, if you'll see the Landsat 7, the band number 6 is our thermal band. So this two, this band, we can able to prepare our land surface temperature map using these bands. So how to download this data set? We can download from the UHS Earth Explorer, this data sets. And we are going to use this formulas to calculate the land surface temperature. So this is very easy to calculate the land surface temperature. So here, first we'll convert DN to radians. After that, we'll convert radians to brightness temperature. And after that, we'll calculate, uh, we'll convert degrees Kelvin to degree Celsius. So these are very easy, just three steps process, three step process we are going to follow. So I'll open the, uh, here is the, my data set. So I have downloaded this Landsat 5 for the year of uh, 2000. Okay, so this data set I'm going to use. So in that, if you'll see here, there is a metadata file is there. This is the MTL file. So when we download this data set, we'll get this MTL file. In this MTL file, if you'll open with the word pad, you'll see all the details are given here. So from where we have downloaded this origin is from UHS geological survey. And after that, uh, all the details are given here mostly. So it will come down. So see this is the row of the image, path of the image, path and row of the image. This is acquisition date at what time it is takes place. After that, what is datum it is using? and all this data all this information is given here so we require our radiance okay this radiance uh, maximum band number six so this value we require so if you'll see in the formula that l max minus l min so what is actually l max means so l max this is the l max okay this is the l max and this is the l mean minimum band number six and after that if you'll see this q cal max minus q cal min so if you come below, so this is the QCAL, okay? So band number six is given here, QCAL max and QCAL mean. So this formula we're going to use in RGS. So let me copy this path and I will paste it here. So here we need to take our band number six so there's the band number six i will add here so if if i will zoom it here you will able to see this is the band number six and the resolution also we can able to check from here so this is a nearly 30 meter resolution and uh, now what we need to do we'll use this formula Okay, so use this formula, we need to go to raster calculator. Here is the raster calculator, R toolbox is there. In the R toolbox, we need to go map algebra. So in the spatial analysis tool, there is a map algebra and raster calculator. So here we'll use our formula. Okay, so this is our radiance max band six. So this I will copy. So in bracket, okay. So this formula after that minus is there. We'll come here. So L max uh, lambda minus L mean lambda. So minus we'll use here. And after that, this is the for L radiance minimum so just copy this so minus this paste close bracket after that divided by q cal max minus q cal min so here is our q cal max and q cal min okay so divided by so divided by again in bracket, this is Q cal 
max minus q cal mean so after that here we'll close the bracket and so into q cal means our band number 6 okay so into in bracket so my q cal means this is my band number 6 okay then minus minus q cal mean so this is the q cal mean again okay so minus 1 okay so after that plus l mean so this is our l mean so plus this is my l mean so our formula is added here and now i will save this where i want to save so i will save this where i am working in d drive that is video lecture in the dlst folder is there land surface temperature here i will save that is a radiance p into radiance and just save just click on okay so our first step is completed here okay so just wait after that we are going to follow the second step that is convert from radians to bt so this is the formula that is a k2 divided by ln k1 so k2 k1 value is given in metadata okay so this value will vary from the landsat 5 to landsat 7 so if you we'll go to metadata we'll see this value is added here so this is the k1 value and k2 value so this value we i have we need to use here so in this formula so it's in process okay so now we have converted into radians so after that the second formula we'll use okay so this value is for the k2 Into divided by okay ln okay so k two divided by ln in bracket k one divided by l lambda l lambda means what we just calculated that radius that we need to add okay so k one value I will copy from here. given okay so divided by l max so divided by this is my radians l lambda okay after that plus 1 so plus 1 so our formula is ready here so now our formula is completed so we'll provide this temperature so this is in kelvin actually so just click on okay so now third formula will convert this kelvin to degree celsius so just key kelvin minus 273.15 we can follow the same process with the landsat 7 so just k1 and k2 value will be changed there also we can follow the same process for the landsat 4 also so now it is in kelvin so just go to raster calculator kelvin k minus 273.15 okay 273.15 so this is my lst okay or temperature in celsius so just click on okay so this is very easy process to follow so just we need to download the data set 
and now if we see the minus temperature is showing here so this minus temperature is might be at the this border okay so what we'll do we can create a shape file and we'll extract the area so let me create a one shape file here study area so i'll take polygon utm zone 43 okay start editing so just click here create feature if you have a shape file you can directly add the shape file here So suppose this is my study area, I will save it, stop it. So just need to click here, extract my mask. Use this and input raster is my study area. So this is the LST and just save it, yes, A. LST. study area lst just click on okay so now we will see our map is ready 39 degrees celsius is the highest temperature So this area is having a highest temperature and uh, this area is having a lowest temperature. So this way we can able to prepare land surface temperature map very easily. So you can follow this process. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section or you can uh, contact us. Details are given in the description box. So thank you.